All right, Doombots. So we are in need of Silver Surfer Shards. And the only way to get Silver Surfer Shards is to complete Silver Surfer Milestones from the raids. And the only way to do that well is to complete Doom Raids. And that sucks. So I got my friend Valley over here. We're going to talk a little bit more in a continuation of his video about uh, what you should be looking at, where your overlap between Dark Dimension 4 and Doom Raids are, and maybe a little bit of like fun teams you can use if you happen to be missing one or two key characters. So uh, we're going to go right into it as soon as this happens. What's going on, Valley Flying? How you doing, man? What is up, Tony Skajili? How are you? I am doing very well. How are you? I I am. Is this the first time I've been on your channel? No. Nope. I know you've been on mine a bunch. A bunch. <laughs> this is not. We've done this before in the exact same way. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> doing the I same thing. <laughs> yes. Uh, All right. So Doom Raids again. What are what are the characters that I picked last time? <laughs> yeah. So on your on your video, which I will link somewhere. Uh, we talked about the top 10 characters that you used in Dark Dimension that you're getting value out of in the Doom Raids and yes. maybe a little bit of other mentions. And they were great. I'm not going to go re rehash them. But just to kind of double up on that, I'm going to continue that thought process uh, quickly Love and just it. kind of showcase. So we're going to start with some bio characters. We've sorted these out by their origin right. because that's what's relevant for Doom Raids. The first one is, you had mentioned, just to throw it out there, Symbiote Spider-Man and Anti-Venom. Yes. Uh, there are some others. So, uh, you know, Scream is a very cheap character, but also a symbiote. So you get a decent chunk of value out of her as far as investing in your. Yeah. I think that's the character people are bringing up third for city nodes in Dark Dimension. Correct. After the, the symbiote Spider-Man and Anti-Venom. There are a couple of other decent options for Dark Dimension 4 that would have some splash value in Doom Raids. One of them is Squirrel Girl. She's not particularly mm -hmm. phenomenal, but she does have a cleanse, a decent heal. And if you happen to have a very high investment, whether it be red stars or stars on her, she's not the worst option. Uh, Invisible Woman being a bio character is a phenomenal addition to the legendary nodes. Uh, you don't get to use her abilities often, but you can use them in case of an emergency to give your characters a little bit extra time to heal themselves or, you know, assuming you're using Doc Ock or other characters. Invisible Woman is a great bio investment. Black Bolt, even though he doesn't really do much in, in Doom Raids uh, on his own, and even though he doesn't really do much in Dark Dimension 4 on his own, there are still some overlaps where Black Bolt's valuable. I don't think it's as important, but I do think it's reasonable. And the last is Yo-Yo. I don't think you need Yo-Yo mm. in Global at all because you have Ghost, but and they Ghost is basically Yo-Yo plus if for Dark Dimension. But I think Yo-Yo does have a lot of value in all raids, let alone just a Doom raid. So that's where I go. What do you think? Uh, I use all three of those characters, the, the all three of those non-symbiote characters in the Doom raids right now. Uh, I can't I can't uh, one shot that uh, bio boss. So I say no sacrifice team, which includes Black Bolt, Yo Yo, and Squirrel Girl. So I, I'm, I I agree. I use all of them in the Doom Raids right now. I haven't taken them to Dark Dimension, but Doom Raids, I'm using all those characters. And, and then there are some other characters I just want people to avoid, just for the sake of the conversation. Carnage does not need to be here tier 15 to do what he does, and he's not particularly good in the city lanes of either DD two three or DD four. Trust me. Uh, Co Obsidian, I, I don't think you get enough out of him uh, for the bio gear. Uh, you can get it maybe for something else, but definitely not for the things we're discussing right now. Yeah. I, I, low key, I think Groot's actually cool. awesome. Is that is that a lot because of his uh, slow whenever you attack him? It's a combination of the slow and the death proofs. The cleanse. Death the proofs, worst thing about helps. Groot, alien spores. Right? Like, ugh. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, the symbiotes. Yes, they take the exact yeah. same superior unique, yeah. And, and right. you know, I, 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 CM is another one I've been seeing a lot of people talk about. Like, don't, don't bring CM up. We don't, we don't, we're done with her. We're tired. <sighs> so sad. She was so good for so long. How she about you? What do you, what do you think? Do you think, do you think a monstrosity is a bring, t is a big take? Uh, I have a seven red star a monstrosity and I don't bring him ever. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> so for bio... 
for bio that's pretty much it and 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 these are quicker as we go because bio had a lot mutants the truth is all but two are great right <laughs> um I don't know. I, I use the X-Men. The, the dad bros are great. Yeah, yeah. a lot of the uncanny X-Men are good. I mean, when we go to the other side, we got the Marauders with Sinister and Emma. There's, there's a lot of good options in uh, Mutant there. I, I don't like Bishop uh, <gasps> for, dark, for Dark Dimension 4. Okay, okay, uh, uh, okay, okay. I don't... Yeah, I was like, he's... He, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I agree. But, I agree, but I like, agree. <laughs> if you just bring up another mutant... Like, if you're bringing a mutant for Dark Dimension 4, it's both Longshot and Shatterstar, not any one of them. You know, like, it's not Bishop. And Bishop doesn't actually need that much to do Doom Raids, so I don't like him as that kind of investment. He needs, you, he needs Jubilee, though. He needs Jubilee. And they don't work <laughs> together the in Dark with, Dimension. He's yeah. not without the same... <laughs> Uh, but there is a little bit of value, like you mentioned Sinister, Emma Frost, Emma Frost is just a good character. Like if you're like, oh no, I have 120k Emma Frost, how do I do the mutant raid? You know, like she, she, she'll help. <laughs> like yeah. she, she won't suck. Uh, Phoenix is another one uh, that... Phoenix, you probably need her for Dark Dimension. If, if you want to replace, or if you're doing the last node of the mutant node and you don't want to use like Kitty or Iceman... Phoenix will be a great addition to that team. Uh, you know, you can make a little bit of a hybrid setup. As a matter of fact, you could use long if you bring Longshot and Shatterstar to 15, you can use those two characters to get a little bit more value out of uh, the Astonishing X-Men, you know, trying to make it out of the best characters, Beast, Bishop, and Jubilee. Uh, yeah. out, there, there's a lot of good mutants, but the cool thing about how good the mutants are is they really don't need that much investment. The, you know, the, most of the mutants just kind of do what they do, and the stronger they are, they do it against stronger opponents. But, yeah, when it comes to mutants, just kind of pick your poison. You'll be fine. Unless yeah, there's it, anyone it, you I mean, see. It, I, I even see some X-Force there with X-23. I, I use her sometimes in uh, the mutant lanes as well when I need a initial sacrifice team. She, she cleans up a lot more than uh, a traditional sacrifice team would. I agree. And I brought in Sabretooth. Uh, to the mm. global veins because he's cheap and it didn't matter. You know what I mean? I so did as well. I did. As I wouldn't. Well. I wouldn't advocate it. Like I'm not telling anyone to do it. But at the same time, he didn't suck. Like uh, he was just, just. He didn't. He didn't die. He was just like, hi, ow. He's. You know. <laughs> he's so cheap. He's yeah. so cheap. I might so still cheap. recommend it. <laughs> even he's, if you're not going to use him after this, he's so cheap. I still might recommend him for even even if you're planning not to use him after Dark Dimension Four. Like for the record, I had <laughs> Sinister Jubilee, Phoenix, and Sabretooth, and I have enough to bring in Emma or close to enough to have brought up Emma by the time where I am right now. So like the cost of investing in Sabretooth was almost null. It almost was nothing as far as you know getting him up. What? Well, well, at the time of Dark Dimension Four, when I went in there. Uh, it, Emma. Emma was the big mutant. We didn't have Axemen. So I was like, should I bring Emma or should I do Sabretooth and Longshot for the exact same cost as, as far as the gear 15s? And I and I, I killed two birds with one stone instead of going for Emma. So, yeah. and, and truthfully, the global lanes, Sinister and Ghost clean that thing up. You, you, Emma will help, but I don't think it matters if you, if you have a good, good Sinister and Ghost. I agree. Uh, so that's pretty much all I could see. Anyone else use Mutants a crazy awesome. character? Anyone, awesome. Did anyone awesome. use Magneto? I just comment. Like I want to know Once if anyone used Magneto in in the in oh, the, for the, for the for Dark Dimension got it. Or yeah, for yeah. Doom Raid. Like is anyone using Magneto for anything other than more? Once in a while. Once, Once in a while. Once in a while. I use him. Yeah. Uh so now we have Mystic. Uh this is the one that fun, I get a lot fun. of pushback cuz there's like four good Mystic characters in this game. And then there's like maybe actually that's not true. There's four great Mystic characters in this game, and then there's like four good Mystic characters in this game, and then there's Scarlet Witch. Mm -hmm. So, like the good Mystic characters in this game is Silver Surfer, Hela, you know, Maw, and Thanos. And we could oh, what about Doom? We can well we can include okay, Doom, okay, but you can't okay. use Doom in Dark Dimension Four until after you've done Dark Dimension Four. Second run, yeah, yeah. And then there's but like that's why that's why you should go through Dark Dimension Four so quickly so you can get Doom get and make Doom, these bring them up so much easier four four and four the Doom raids yes yeah. and then there's like White Your Tiger Ghost Rider you know like these are good Car Loki they're good but eh. um so I I want to just address 
that surfer is phenomenal. I, I soloed all of Dark Dimension 2 with just Silver Surfer. And I know that oh. might not sound incredibly <laughs> one, one impressive. Char one character? But I, yes, I literally <laughs> so It took, I'm not joking. Auto? Uh, auto? On auto. Auto, nice. It took 12 hours. <laughs> but he soloed right. every single node because he healed for more damage than they could do. Granted, he's 100k, you know, like... But I don't think there's many characters that could so maybe Emma, but she would also take ninety hours to do it. Ultron, Ultron, maybe. Uh, he might die. He maybe, maybe it's possible. Maybe. Uh, maybe. he only has to die twice. Then I guess you know. So, <laughs> so there's not many, but Surfer did solo DD two, which is hilarious okay. to me. Uh, he's that good a character. There's no question. But I'm showcasing how a stronger Surfer could do against weaker content. I don't think that he's that much better in Doom, not in Doom Raids, in Dark Dimension Four. But he's amazing uh -huh. in Doom Raids. Like you don't, we don't, we're not pretending we're not using Surfer and Mystic in Doom Raids. You know, like that's where we have Thanos. Just... We have Thanos next to Surfer, feeding him the energy so he can keep murdering people. That's the entire plan for the Mystics, anyway. So there's not many options outside of the eight total characters we talked about. I do want to say one thing though. Please don't bring White Tiger into Dark Dimension 4. She's great at Shadowlands or offense. Yeah. Real time arena. She excels in both of those game modes. I don't know. I, I don't know about Dark Dimension Doom Raids though. Quick question. I'm gonna ask you a character. What do you think about Mordo? Uh, I think he has a little more value if you're bringing Hela as well, so she could spread some of those uh, blinds. But Mordo has Mordo. Mordo is decent. Has, has some decent standalone value. All right. So the tiebreaker: Mordo or Thor? If you're bringing in Hela to the cosmic, I think I think it'll be based, based on uh, who, whatever you have more red stars on. And if That's you fair. don't have, uh, if you have the uh, same amount of red stars, I would go Mordo. I think Thor, Thor is Thor is Thor is great for the Wave One Avengers. Mordo, I think, is great for that Hella Natural, and I, I see a lot of uh, synergy with Mordo and Hella. Agreed. I, you know, I'm just throwing some stuff out there for funsies. I, I wouldn't advocate for bringing Mordo in. Mordo and Thor, just so you guys know, I consider them the best fifth characters. You know what I mean? Like, after you got four good characters, we'll say hypothetically the four characters you're bringing in are Hella, Silver Surfer for Cosmic, Hella, Silver Surfer, Proxima. And Thanos, if that's the four characters you're bringing in, Mordo would be a great fifth character. Uh, but ultimately, you're not going to get too much value out of it. He's not going to slow you down. Yeah. Like he's better than Hand Assassin, but you know, I think Rem brought it. Uh, in yeah, too. if if you're if you're bringing Hella, I think uh, Mordo you can justify that for Dark Dimension Four. Also, please bring Hella. <laughs> please bring Hella. She is expensive, but yeah, she'll, skill she'll, is she'll like Mystic. Skill is like Mystic, oh! but worse. Skill, oh, right? This, like, is it's like, this is tough. This is tough. You said Zemo. Uh, we, we got some good. We got some good characters, but raid characters. I don't know. You, you're kind of piecing it together. With so, yeah, that's the problem with the raid. Boats. The skill raid right now is like Red Guardian is a tank, and then yep. it's like, and then four Night characters. Nurse. Night Nurse is the Night healer. Nurse. We're going OG. Zemo, We're doing like Cast starting Master. teams. Do you guys do you remember the OG like the Night Nurse, Cap, Black Widow, Yondu, and Quake raid uh, team? Yeah, just just piecing teams, just yeah, piecing characters that's, together. To, not, that's what the skill is. It's like Red Guardians, yeah, the tank. It is. Yeah, you know, and then it's like Zemo, Taskmaster, and Proxima figure it out. You know, like like Black Widow, Hawkeye, and Zemo, whatever. You know, yeah. Killmonger, if you happen to have a high enough because he kind of sustains himself. It, let's wait, let's let's talk about Punisher though. I think a lot of people want to bring Punisher to Dark Dimension Four. Is that is that someone you recommend? And uh, if you do, what what value are you getting out of him in Doom Raids? Get none. You will get value at a Dark Dimension Four because he's cheap and he can hurt villains, right? Like that's yeah, fine. He has a decent passive. You get if, extra damage to the team, but what, if you have him not at a 14, lot of value after that. Like if you have him at fourteen already for Dark Dimension Three, you might as well bring him to fifteen for Dark Dimension Four. He's not gonna matter. Like he really, he really doesn't in the city lanes. Like seriously, he like the fourth character that isn't a a symbiote in the city lanes of Dark Dimension Four is just there to be a person that could get hit. You know, like they don't matter. So, yeah. but there's very little overlap in skill raids. You're not gonna get 
so like such value at a Punisher. There might be a specific fight where his AOE does something, but if you could avoid working on him, I would recommend it. You know. <laughs> All right. So who who are the other characters that you are recommending? Uh, Zemo's great. Sorry, sorry to take it off, but I know a lot of people no, are saying important. Punisher, 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 Punisher. Yeah. Yeah, it's important. Zemo's great, right? Taskmaster is incredibly expensive, the same way Hela is, but Taskmaster has a stun and an, an AOE blind and an assist all the time. Like, Taskmaster is awesome in Doom Raids. He's a beast. Uh, he's a beast. But again, for DD4, he's 90. And you I, really, I, I, yeah. I didn't recommend him for DD4. Yeah. He's no. So he's, the, he's like Doom one of those, like, after you cleared it twice, you could bring up Taskmaster. You know, uh, Red Guardian, too expensive for DD. For Dark Dimension Four, it doesn't do enough for Dark Dimension I think Four. He's, ne he's necessary for Doom, though, right? Uh, I don't use him for Doom raids. Oh, I guess he's not necessary. I guess he's not necessary. Uh, no, Let you're right. Back. No, 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 sir. You're right. He is necessary. Uh, I'm the idiot. Not. Oh. <laughs> not oh. yet. No, so, no, no. Wait, are, are you are you clearing it though without Red Guardian? Yes. Clearing those nodes. Yes. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. I so get much, my one point five nodes done. Okay. And then okay. my my friend closes the rest out with his ah, weapon. Ah, that's your that's your it secret. Would, okay. Yeah, the secret is teamwork. It's a strategy oh, yeah. I use. And no, your friend I, has Red Guardian. I'm working on Red Guardian now. I was waiting to become <laughs> okay, farmable. Okay. Uh, All right. But yeah, right. th that's correct. <laughs> uh, cool. And then we have the end. We have oh no, the tech characters. Oh, I'm I'm hiding all the good ones. Oh no no, so, I, see, I see some. I see I see a bunch. I see a bunch. No, it's fine. So the three tech characters are Minerva, Doc Ock, and Ghost. Those are the three for Dark Dimension 4. That's the conversation ender. Like, we don't have to worry. Yeah. After, like, everybody should bring those characters in. Again, if you don't have Doc Ock yet, congratulations. You have plenty of time before you have to worry about Dark Dimension 4. Uh, like, he is super good at everything. So those three characters, those are your three techs. Please don't skip any of them. Please don't get greedy. Please don't worry about other like look at the other tech characters. It is like a dog shit parade. Like it is well, it is well, all garbage. Right, well, Except uh, maybe Shuri two. has some value. Falcon has some value. Well, that's Ultron for DD4. is very expensive. That's for DD4. For Doom Raids. Doom. Ghost loses a little bit of value, right? Shuri and Ultron are phenomenal if you don't have Doom yet. If you have Doom, okay. obviously, you just replace Ultron because they can't be on the same team. Uh, and then, again, they all the rest of them kind of suck. I want to use Yellow Jacket. He's one of my weird... Look, for a long time, I was considering, do I bring Yellow Jacket in with Ghost? The biggest issue with Yellow Jacket is he doesn't do enough damage uh, in Dark Dimension, right? Like, yeah. Because he, he has that one assassinate, the percentage... But his ultimate doesn't actually do anything in Dark Dimension. So, like, when I see the Pym Tech team being the Dark Dimension team, I'm like, eh. They're, they're not. Ghost is the Dark Dimension team. Yeah, and it, Pym Tech Ghost is and the, Stature. Is the Jubilee Unlock. Is the Ghost Jubilee and Stature. Unlock. That's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, I like Yellow Jacket, but, like, you don't get too much value. However, in Doom Raids, I have slid a Yellow Jacket in. Like, not, like, intentionally. Like, oh, no, I lost how, most of my team. Put him in. How how big are you talking about? Uh, he's, like, 90K. 90K? Okay. Yeah, and he, he, he did get that one assassination off, that 30%. He was like, eat. Hey, hey. Um, Works. But, yeah, tech is another entire pool that's, I want to say, a no-brainer because, like, no one's bringing up Coulson. You know, like we're not living do, in the I, crossbones I, world. I do want to talk a little bit about Scientist Supreme because she was she was pretty valuable back in the early days of Ultima Seven before we got a lot of these characters. I took her into these tech lanes and did Doom raids. She she is horrible. She is horrible. How she has fallen off? My goodness! Don't build her up. Don't bring her in. Everything that everything that was good about her for the early days of Ultima Seven does not hold up in the Doom raids. Uh, it reminds me of that that <laughs> anecdote. It's like uh, I think it was from the Matrix. It's like, why do my eyes hurt? It's like because you never used them before. That was everybody <laughs> who was like, Scientist Supreme is so good. We're like, no, guys, Scientist Supreme is a necessary evil. She's actually terrible. But what about when you get heal She's blocked? Okay like, just okay be on better. Okay yeah, on, on the aim team. team. Like, yeah. what do you use the aim team for? Waiting for Modok, right? 
Uh, oh, 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 oh. He's, he's got a series coming out on Hulu Plus, guys. It's so fun. <laughs> uh, like, I just feel bad because tech used to be like beyond the shadow of a doubt. Like, like every like Star Lord, Rocket, War Machine. You One know. day the Ravagers will get a rework. You'll have Ravager Stitcher in there as the meta, Ravager Boomer, and Nebula. They'll be they'll be the uh, what is the next raid? The Galactus raid or something? When Doom is done. <laughs> You think they're having another raid? They're, we're getting five Doom raids before we see anything else. Uh, but that's that, so right, that's Doom pretty much it. Uh, also, style points to anybody who brings Nebula to gear tier fifteen for Dark Dimension. <laughs> First or second there run, you get you get style <laughs> points. It, it, it doesn't have to. It can't be the third run. But if you get the first or second run done with Nebula <laughs> on the team, you get style points. You receive no other thing. This is not a giveaway. I just, I, 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 I admire your passion and dedication to being a troll. <laughs> so you'll get a, a lot of admiration if you bring in, who's in that lane? We got, uh, what are we talking? Cosmic, right? So, um, Minerva, Hela, uh, Minerva. Hela. <laughs> Ebony Maw, <laughs> um, who else is in that lane? Uh, who's the best Thanos. cosmic character? Surfer. Thanos and then Nebula. And then, oh, no, no, no let's, take, let's take Thanos out. We'll put Surfer in there. So beat it with those characters and Nebula, and then you'll get you get some admiration from Tony. Which may or definitely work. <laughs> I would I be know. impressed by your, your dedication to wasting resources. Last thing I want to just kind of go over. So these are the Doom Raids for those who aren't familiar with it. Also, just to remind everybody, all of this is on msf.gg. Uh, it is a resource that I use all the time, and you should too. They are not sponsoring me. I just really appreciate what they do. They have put quite a bit of information that uh, Scope we has decided we didn't need in the game itself uh, out here for you to know, including like stats and the ability to build out your own roster, track meta. Useful information, please stop by when you can. I'll put a link in the description below. If you've never seen this before, you're welcome to learn about it. Anyway, this is a, a, a shot of a raid map. Uh, they're a little bit the same. No, They're a little bit different, a little bit the same, right? As you go up, they always represent the five different origins. So, what do you do, Valley, when you're going for your 30 or 60%? How do you approach this? Do you assign a lane to uh, everybody, or? So, what we do, we're zero in the first lane. There's four in the second lane, and then four in the last lane. Okay, so you yeah. literally split your entire alliance yep. among here and zero, here. Yeah, we're zero, four, four, yeah. All right. The, the middle lane is probably the easiest, because you don't get skilled until the end. So, on the exact opposite... When we are going for 30 or 60, we, we, well, we don't do 60, let's be clear. When we're going for 30, we skip the middle lane completely because we don't have a lot of, of dooms. Uh, and the nodes don't actually get much harder, if you, if you notice. They're, they're the same. They're the, yeah. they're the exact it's same. It's the exact the same exact node, same. the exact same investment all the way through. So we don't really have an issue with the skill fights because we will split up here. And basically, we'll just stop okay. around this point. So we have the mutant nodes, which are easier. The issue we've found is that the early, like we can't really push this far in the middle lane because by the time we get to the mutant points, oh. it really doesn't make a difference. Um, so we just go here. You got to so wail get, harder on those Axemen, dude. We, the, the, well, mutant, the mutant lanes are easy with the Axemen. Oh, yeah. Well, we, that's easy, why. Easier, we, easier with the Axemen. We put the weakest Axemen characters here, and then we just have the stronger people knock out the skill but i will say again with the mutant if you just have jubilee bishop and beast there are plenty of other options to finish that team out without having to worry about getting the axemen themselves up to a point kitty pride and yeah. and uh what's his Ice name man. ice man ice man yeah he's they, so they, forgettable you don't even they're remember they're good and they're worth the investment but if you want to invest in like long shot shatter star and like uh, Sinister, Emma, in, like, Phoenix, somebody else. Especially on, like, this node. Like, once you get to this point, the bets yeah. are off. You know, just use all your mutants. You never need to use them again. You know, just go up. So, like, if you're looking to just beat these up, that's a good hybrid setup for them. Uh, as for Bio, if you are sticking to the three best symbiotes, which, of course, for this conversation, are Symbiote, Spider-Man, Anti-Venom, and Scream slash Venom. Scream's mm -hmm. a little bit better because she's cheaper. And does very similar things to Venom. Not the same, just similar. Uh, I use Black Bolt and Yo-Yo as the other two characters okay. on that team. Um, because 
you're getting the constant healing. You're not getting the turn meter that you would, but you're not really getting the turn meter anyway in Doom Raid right now because you're just you're not kill getting them red fast enough, right? Yeah. So I, I took Carnage and uh Venom out. Um I haven't really been testing Scream and Carnage. I might do that in the future. But I, I'm using Black Bolt and Yo Yo, and I've changed a little bit. When Carnage is in, he's a healer. Black Bolt's a healer, not a striker. And again, this is ISO work. But I'm able to get, like, the symbiotes will keep themselves alive. And then Yo-Yo puts offense down, which heals the symbiotes. And Carnage and Black Bolt heal themselves for because they have giant health pools. Yeah. That seems to be a reasonable setup for the bio lanes. The other issue is, here it doesn't matter. The symbiotes will do just fine here. Here is where it really starts to matter because you need, you know, two people or four people if you're doing the 4x4 split to be able to beat two nodes and a boss node that node that team specifically i determined by accident going into this uh boss node i was like whatever i'll just use these two and it did well so that's another hybrid team you can utilize if you don't want to invest in say venom or scream or carnage or venom or whatever your setup is if you want symbiote spider-man in that you need symbiote spider-man you need anti-venom but the other you know set up you don't have to spend that much material you can use other good characters what do you think about tech agreed what are you using for tech right now specifically tech um i know doc ock is on there uh i'm using ultron because i don't have dr doom and ultron makes it a little easier i don't i see i'm on the far right lane so we don't do tech very often unless we're going for 60 percent so uh what is what is my good tech characters let me try to think of them um i have my roster okay. just um, top of your head uh doc uh doc doc ock um who else is like minerva ultron i think i have falcon in there as yes. well and he's a really great probably uh, shuri probably shuri holder. yeah i think shuri and minerva are required like i think you need that much healing for the tech nodes uh and then doc ock is just a little bit of damage with some healing and some value uh, a lot of it is that preventing the offense down like you yeah. talked about uh the other video yeah and and then so. i like falcon i really do i think you don't even need a lot of investment in falcon because he's gonna die to one hit no he's matter a, what a, happens he's, he's a kid he's a kid-faced character it's, it's all his yeah. special it's you hit his special, special and especially if you have ultron because that speed up is so relevant to making ultron actually not slow you down the tech yeah. lanes i do think are are not as hard but they're pretty hard Mystic lanes are a nightmare without Doom. If anybody, anybody it's is tough. doing Mystic lanes without Doom, without like raid healing all the time and stuff, please, please let me know. Let us know. Because these are not easy. <laughs> not without Doom. Yeah. Not without Doom. You know, if you're use, if you figured out some perfect team, I've tried. I've tried like Mordo, Hela, Thor, uh, Thanos, and. Um, uh, and surfer right and using mordo just because every time uh greg dies mordo oh. gets an energy so i could like extend the blinds and everything and then they like i just don't have the damage like surfer tries his best you know but like that's what i've been trying and it hasn't been too great for me so comment below and let me know if i'm an idiot or not uh that's it right that's the that's the, the core concept like there's an overlap between doom raids and dark dimension Four, and you really should look at it from the perspective of let's worry about Dark Dimension 4 and then move into Doom Raids just because of how much easier completing Dark Dimension 4 will make Doom Raids for you. Um, that's everything I have to say. You got anything you want to talk about, promote, plug, have fun, Valley? Uh, yeah, the secret to all this is just whale harder, guys. I didn't even think of that. I'm proud of Guys, if you don't spend as much yeah. money, then you'll <laughs> never have everything you want, right? You will, you will. It's just gonna take a lot longer. But yeah, but then you'll want you'll new things, want. sir. Sir, what about the uh, new things? <laughs> well, you gotta spend money for the new things. <laughs> Thank you so much, Valley, for hanging out. Uh, please, if you haven't seen it already, me and Valley did a uh, more in-depth and detailed top ten list on his channel. Links in the description below. Thank you so much for hanging out, Valley. Appreciate you. I don't really do fist bumps on my channel, okay. so just bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>